don't settle for fakes. My dual taining is the real deal. Hey everyone, it's MechLord. Remember yesterday when I said that uh, I wouldn't be able to record any new videos for a while? And then Konami just had to release a structure deck? I guess that's where I'm at right now. So, uh, I mean, the largest, most echoey room of my place. So, let's just get it over with. Blazing Gearfried, a new structure deck focused around Fire, Warrior, and Gemini. Now, it's, um, Actually kind of interesting because a couple of cards here were good in Duel Links, a couple of other cards here were going to do no TCG and the OCG. And now we get the best of both worlds, I guess, starting with Immortal Phoenix Gear Freed. Now this card is actually pretty good. It's basically a monster negate. When a monster effect is activated, it can send one face-up equipped card you control to the graveyard. It doesn't have to be equipped to the Immortal Phoenix Gear Free, just any face-up equipped card you control. It has a very easy summoning condition. Just banish one equipped spell from your graveyard, which uh, you get a skill that allows you to do that, basically. At the start of the damage step, it is card attack. You can keep one face-up monster on the field to this card, non-targeting, non-destructive removal once again. Uh, but you have to wait until the damage step in order to be able to use it, so you do have some time as the, the opponent of Gear Free to react to this. I think it's a really neat card. It's definitely worth building a deck around, especially with the scale that is coming soon or is already here. I don't know. Sublimation Knight. What does the card do? Uh, it equips itself with any Fire Warrior type or Gemini monster from your deck. And if it's equipped with a Gemini monster and gets destroyed by battle or card effects, but an opponent's card effects, and get the special summon these Gemini monster back from grave. Um, that's... That's okay, I guess. That's There's not really a lot of, like, good Gemini monster that work with this strategy. The other two Gemini monster we're getting in the structure deck, uh, they're not new, but uh, they do get their effects only when they're equipped with an equip spell, which could be happening with the trap I don't know what it's called, Eden Arsenal or something? Eden Armory. Um, I don't think that's going to happen all too often. Phoenix Gear Freed already in the game has been in the game for a while. It is a spell trap, targeted spell trap negates, which you'd think that's not all that impressive. It's actually pretty good when you think about it. Book of Moon, Crackdown, Compose, all of these targets. IDP doesn't, but I just further prove that IDP has no place in the game whatsoever. Make can also special Gemini monster from Grave, but I reckon that's not so important. More importantly, the scale we're getting allows you to normal it without any tributes, which means you basically have a 2800 vanilla always at your disposal, which it's neat, I guess. Infernable Knight Rolled. Now, a lot of people have taken this card being linked as a confirmation that Infernobles were releasing in the next main box. Maybe. Infernobles weren't really interesting in CCG because they were mostly used as an Alcadon enablers, you know? Al Alcafibrax or Rorodon. Alcafibrax summons a tuner from deck and then, oh, it's test box, so it's a machine, so you can make. Make a fancy beast or all redone, and then you have a bunch of tokens, and then you bring back Death Body, you make a bunch of Synchro Bastards, and it's just like Synchro decks in general are just incredibly boring in a TCG because all they do is any combination of Bolo Savage, Herald of uh, Pure Light, the, the level 4 Synchro one, and Baron de Fleur, and maybe some non Synchro Bastards like a Beast Dweller and Opelousa. Oh, wow, interesting. Anyway, let's read Roland. So, it can quick effect equip itself, and if it descends to the graveyard this turn, it searches any fire warrior type monster, or any equipped spell. That's, yeah, that's pretty decent. It's not the greatest card ever made. I'm not sure if it's good enough to see play, but it's not the worst. Evocator, Chevalier, and Gemini Spark are two cards that were already in Duel Links. I want to talk about them because, believe it or not, Gemini were actually pretty good for a while in the, I think, early synchro, early 5Ds rather, era of dual links. Thanks to this card in specific, Gemini Spark, just an absolutely fantastic card in general. One of the cards that has carried Hero Beat in the TCG for a very long time. It's just a really great card. And considering that Signet Crosswipe was seeing play as late as last year, there's a real chance that given a good pool of Gemini monster, 
this sees play once again. Breath by a Knight's a joke. Knight de Greffa is bad. This is a joke. Uh, this is terrible. This is mediocre. Yeah, breed. I guess it's sort of recycling. It's not the worst card, but it's not that fantastic. It's, more, it's kind of like a win more card. I don't think it's really going to be used. Uh, this is bad. This is... This was one of the most contentious cards in the game for a while. Can you believe it? Power of the Guardians. And Gemini Booster. She's just... It's just bad. It's just really bad, I'm sorry. But all in all, we're getting a couple of really neat cards in Immortal Phoenix Gifred. It's obviously the star of this show. I don't know. You're definitely gonna need three of it, in my opinion. On top of that, we are getting a new skill that I was alluding to previously. During this duel, you can normal summon set Phoenix Gifred without tributing. That's what I said before, that's kinda neat. The following effect can be used once per duel by revealing one Immortal Phoenix Gear Ring from your hand. Set one Salamand Dragon outside of your deck and send one Legendary Sword from inside of your deck to your graveyard. So it's a plus two. It's a skill that's just a plus two. <laughs> and that's, that's really good in theory, right? In practice, I think it's going to be really good as well. Uh, you only need to activate it once in order to set up Gifried for ever, for the future, forever. It's just, just an amazing card, and and this is an amazing skill that enables it. This skill can only be used applied if you begin the duel, excluding extra deck, very important, that contains at least 10 Fire Warrior monsters. So, if we get the Infamable Knight, we are going to get a series of fire warrior monsters that are like pretty good on their own already but aside from them i think as far as good fire warrior monsters go we have the battling boxes including veil which is something to keep in mind uh, actually let me check so what else do we have we have super quantum red layer which if we do get the Infernobles, could be used as a free special for Synchro Place, which is worth considering. Uh, is any of the battling boxes good? This is foolish, it's not really interesting in this deck. This is a combat trick. This is Dreroid. This is bad. This is, doesn't work with the deck, unfortunately. What is this? Okay, this just distorts it. It's not really interesting. Um, Evocator Chevalier is a huge one if you decide to go the Gemini angle. This one is not too bad either. Uh, because if it's destroyed by anything, you get to bring back any Fire Warrior type monster, including the Immortal Phoenix Gear Freed. Crystal Keeper is a Fire Warrior? Oh, that's the first I've heard of it. What is this one? This one can also bring back um, Immortal Phoenix Gear Freed, but only more when it's destroyed by battle. So it's not interesting. The Ignites are Fire Warriors. Yeah, still bad though. Ultimate Baseball Kid. Wow, that's one of the cards that I built a deck around as a child, and it was already really bad then. <laughs> so not a lot of like candidates for like competition here, but uh, you know, there's there's potential with the next main box. So you can say some really good fight. Oh, this is actually like. A, an extender, believe it or not. It's not a tuner though, shame. Anyway, I think the viability of this deck will really depend on the pool of Fire Royal Monster that will be added to the game with the next main box. If any are added to the game with the next main box. If not, uh, it's already up with decent as is, right? I guess. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna. Like go buy some myself so yeah that's where i'm at right now i'm gonna have to record another video to talk about this 
Thank you for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it. This is my cold ice where I shouldn't be recording too many other videos, but there's so much stuff happening and I can't not make videos about it. I'm still in the process of moving. It's going fine. Ignore all of this. Ignore this. Anyway, thank you for watching. And I'll see you guys and gals and I plan to next time. I forgot my catchphrase. That's embarrassing. Take care, everyone.